Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 3, Thoughts. This episode is called Making Friends and Influencing People. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. No spoilers for anything MCU that happened after this episode first premiered. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAG After Strikers, and I implore you to do so. And then there's some links to videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive in. In. So, yeah, we see the Faustus method being applied to Agent 33. And, yeah, very, very creepy. And I appreciate the, you know, the entire episode is about this brainwashing. And, yeah, so we see Simmons, you know, get out of bed and get some exercise in and you know, get dressed, all these, you know, she looks like she's living her best life, and then it's revealed she's working at Hydra. And I do quite like the the guy who welcomes her and mixes his metaphors. Don't be sorry. Just wait. <laughs> and, yeah, you know, May tells Sky. Experience doesn't make it any easier to cross someone off. And we do see at the, you know, later in the episode, near the end of the episode, she does manage to take out Gil without her heart rate increasing, but Ward telling her about her father, that does really have that effect on her. Which is completely understandable. And, yeah, Donnie does not take kindly to the Hydra agent's tracked him down and I like you know Phil is like did you think I wasn't gonna find out and we're like oh you know he caught her ricking for Hydra oh no he's talking about her diet and so yeah she is a double agent which you know does make substantially more sense than her actually working for Hydra without uh, yeah without it being a double agent act and we see that Mac is continuing to help Fitz. You know, Fitz says, you know, last time I saw Donnie, and then he can't, he was, and then he can't quite get out the, the next word, and Mac offers up, you know, several. Although, one of them was, like, sleeping, and I'm like, I don't think that's what he would, but okay. But, but yeah, um... You know, oh, he was he was sleeping. No, 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 back back one. Oh, the the other thing, yeah. And yeah, Sky confronts Ward again. Another good scene. And yeah, we find Donnie at the the port of Casablanca. Which I have to say, it's a it's a pretty good port. They did a good job maintaining the the features and not like downgrading the graphics or anything. And Simmons is escorted by several, you know, and you know, you seem nervous. I am nervous. You had two massive guys escort me here, you know, and I like that. You know, the, the guy goes to, to the doctor afterwards. Um, I'm going to see if I can get... What was his name again? Um, Sunil Bakshi goes to, to Dr. Whitehall, and he's like, I have something, you know, I, I feel like that the right thing to do here is strike with violence. And, you know, Whitehall's like, I, I trust you. you, you know what you're doing. You know, and we think, oh no, Gemma's, but, you know, no. He was talking about using violence against Donnie, which, you know, him bringing Simmons up to, to interrogate like that, that was to see if she was useful as an asset with Donnie. You know, very clever, good misdirection there. Because, you know, I, you know, I've only watched the episode once, but if I went back, I'm sure that, you know, he, he doesn't, like, say, we have to kill Simmons, or... You know, there's no way for Simmons to, you know, he, yeah, they, they play it just right, where it could be both. And Max suggests that he and Fitz 
to play Xbox since they have some unexpected time off. Koenig won't be hogging it. And yeah, legitimately like very tense when Gemma when it's revealed that she's going to be used by Hydra versus Donnie. And Fitz is convinced that they're hiding something from him. He goes to the Ah, what's the word? He, uh, yeah, he he heads towards the the room where they're keeping. You know, he just heard the asset. He doesn't know that it's Ward yet. And we even have this moment where you know he's like, "You're not really here," to to Simmons, who then does disappear. You know, he realizes that she's not legitimately very emotional scene of you know Fitz confronting him and because he's bad with words now he decides he's going to show the hypoxia on ward which yikes but yeah that is you know a lot of people feel that way after having been put through something that permanently changes them and yeah you know Simmons with Donnie like she does she does really try and you know it is very creepy when Sunil talks her through the you know just repeat after me and and tries to use the triggering phrase and it was also very creepy as she's, you know, she's looking for, you know, I'm looking for Donnie. And she just passes all these frozen to death, you know, people working on the boat. I don't take orders from you, train spotting. I'm not Scottish. And you know Fitz means business because he is a young man and he unplugs a video game console like okay there's I don't know what something is on fire you know this is not you know if he if he was just like Mac you have to listen to me you know Mac might have been like hey can I can't wait we're off duty I'm enjoying the game but if he unplugs there's definitely something and yeah we learn Danny didn't escape the sandbox he took it for Hydra so yeah, very very cool, and you know, great twist because it does like we could believe that he was able to escape, but the fact that he used to actually work for Hydra makes it so much, you know, it really raises the intensity, and you know he manages to freeze her coat, but she manages to get out of it just in time. Which is quite clever because that, you know, we do know that is how his power works. You know, it transfers. It doesn't like, yeah, it's it's not that he freezes everything in an area. It's that everything that it touches. So if she's no longer touching the jacket. Yeah, and, and yeah, May shot Lance, which, you know, that's what she said. She said, wait, you know. And the he was about to to fire one of the an actual bullet, not a not an icer bullet, but a yeah lethal bullet at Simmons, and that's not something that May is willing to allow to happen. And you know, Trip is frustrated. He wanted to be the one to shoot Hunter, and yeah. Sunil tries to, you know, use the the triggering phrase on Donnie, and it works. He's happy to comply, which I feel like there's, you know, it's reminiscent of like Bucky Barnes, which is of course intentional, and. Yeah, 
Sky shoots Donnie, and he falls in the water and freezes to death. And yeah, you know, it, there really was no other way to. It it would have been devastating if Hydra were able to use Donnie. <clears throat> and I appreciate how the you know they did the thing that you can do in in like comic books and video games and and this sort of thing and adaptations of them but you don't see that much in like mainstream movies that aren't that have nothing to do with comics or video games where you see a character at one point and he has like low-level superpowers and then you see them and some time has passed and now their superpowers are much more intense because yeah you know he was at the sandbox he was learning to get better and better at using his powers you know, similar to the the guy that attacked the the cello, the cellist. You know, that was also you know Hydra was making him stronger, so makes makes sense. And yeah, you know, last he he could barely at the very very end of the first episode that Donnie appeared in, he could use the power like like with his mind you know until then he needed a device but then here you know he can very quickly freeze you know large objects and bodies of water and yeah Colson does tell Fitz about Simmons and yeah and we see that they call her Agent 33, but according to the... Oh, wait, is this... Is her character name a spoiler, maybe? I'll just... Yeah, we see Agent 33 again, and now she says, happy to comply. So, the the Faustus method, the brainwashing, was indeed effective. Even though we saw how much she struggled against it at the start of the... You know, yeah, we saw her twice in the machine, and they did very nice... You know, thankfully, she wasn't actually in that thing for as long as the character was supposed to be. But, you know, they did a really great job with the makeup and her intense performance. So it felt like, oh, she must have been there for, for ages, you know. And she manages to get one hand free, but it's not quite enough. And, yeah, Sunil tells Whitehall, you know... I, I believe that Simmons will will do what we say, and if I'm wrong, you know we can make her comply, and that's it's such a great because like it already had a strong emotional impact on the audience to see Agent Thirty Three like that. We don't know her, but like clearly she's in distress, and we already know Whitehall's the bad guy. So this isn't like oh you know maybe. He's, you know, he's a good guy and he's doing something, it's like a necessary evil or something. No, no, no. This is, like, basically torture. He's he's using torture to make her pliable. But the idea of Simmons, the, you know, sweet summer child Simmons, being put through this just really, like, oh, we, you know, just, we hate the thought, but she's, she's an effective double agent. You know, she got in, she got her foot in the door, she she made it to the top floor, got scarier as, you know, the further up she went, and there's a very real chance that, so, so yeah, you know, and, and Sky did very nice at, you know, firing a bullet that looks like, she, you know, she was trying to kill Simmons, so, yeah, very nicely. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, Ward says he wasn't brainwashed. It, they were his own choices. And, you know, he explains, the reason I'm telling you the truth is so you'll believe me when I say your father is alive and looking for you. And one day, I can take you to him. You know, that, yeah. And, yeah, understandably, you know, Sky, like, it takes a lot to, to really, you know, get get to her now, by now. But that'll do it, you know, that is still something that, so yeah, very, very cool episode, I thought they did a really great job, like, you know, yeah, Fitz is starting to, to 
recover somewhat more. And yeah, you know, Hunter, there is that thing of, you know, he might actually do something that the others and we, the audience, don't want to happen. Uh, if, you know, Sky Express is not really trusting him as well. Let's see. Um, yeah, you know, I, I like the detail that Mac is like, he is actually trying to, to befriend Fitz. He's, he doesn't see him as a tool that could be useful for the mission. He sees him as a person who could also potentially be, you know, good for missions. But, yeah, like, you know, you don't play Xbox with someone who's just like, you know, I don't know, let's, don't really like this guy, but I guess we gotta keep, you know, it's... No, that's... Sir, maybe some people would. I really don't get the sense that Mac is the type of person who's gonna do that if he doesn't have some sympathy for the, for the person. And according to IMDB trivia... Oh, the... Hmm. Yeah, so the... the The Faustus thing is going to come up. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I don't want to give away, but this is not the last time that, right, and yeah, the, the title of the episode is an adaptation of Dale Carnegie's book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And that might be about it. Right, I like the, you know, Coulson has to have Hunter repeat that May shot him. And, yeah. That does bring it to, yeah um i am not sure i'm gonna be able to do an episode tomorrow but maybe not making any promises otherwise the next one will be thursday i mean i knew he was a gifted scientist but you're saying he's a gifted scientist <laughs>